Hello everyone and welcome back to another awesome episode of Historical Recreations. Today we'll be doing faux marble finishing. Now I get this request a lot. People have asked me, how do you faux finish marble? How do you make real marble? So today I'm going to be demonstrating four different types of these marbles and these are the types of marbles I'll be demonstrating today. I want to also show the different types of brushes. Now I have been faux finishing for over 20 years and I have done work in the United States and in Asia. Replicating marble is quite easy once you know the techniques and today I'm very happy to share my knowledge with you. So without further ado, faux finishing on historical recreations. Join me. Years, I have a collection of brushes that have been in the hundreds and I'm just showing a small sample of ones that I have used in faux finishing. Now you don't need to have all of these brushes to do the projects that we're doing today but I just wanted to demonstrate and show and educate what is out there and what ty different types of brushes are used in faux finishing. So I'm going to go from left to right. We're going to end up with the sea sponges last. These are house brushes over here. You can see the large, long bristles, beautiful for stenciling techniques, dragging techniques. And I have two very large ones. These ones will set you back maybe about seven to ten dollars each. And I want to show you this one. This is a use one time throwaway dollar store 99 cent brush with the natural bristles on them absolutely essential in making things like splatter techniques where you pull the bristles back and or dragging techniques where you want to create those beautiful lines. I have never thrown this brush away even though it's disposable. It's a uh, two inch brush and for 99 cents I have used this thing for over 10 years. Here I have two large Chinese soft watercolor brushes. Now these are used for calligraphy and I got these when I was over in Asia. I had picked these up in South Korea. These are used for beautiful art techniques. You can get these online if you want to. And in the center, the most softest of all the Chinese bristles to smooth out and create a very, very soft texture on your painting to smooth out the paint so it just blends right in. So the Chinese brushes are essential. Uh, to the lower left over here, I want to share with you about sable brushes. Ooh, some of these brushes will set you back $20 to $25 each. The long haired bristles like this are beautiful for using for veining. These are brand new. They have never been used or touched water yet. So I have three of them. Using two acrylic brushes for larger areas and fan brushes. I have a big pile of fan brushes. I'm going to show you the smallest one first. Softest one, you pull and drag and create different types of styles and techniques. And lastly, we're ending up with these little guys. You're probably saying, what is that? Okay, important to go out and purchase or invest in some natural sea sponge. Do not use cellulose sponge that you'd have, say, at your kitchen sink. Forget it. Go out and invest the few dollars to get natural sea sponges. The ability to create the technique and style and patterns with these brushes are priceless. Let's talk about two more elements that you can put in your faux finishing collection. First thing is a spray bottle with a nice mister on it. And also feathers. Yes, feathers. Any type of feathers. Chicken feathers, goose feathers. Any type of feathers that you have that are nice and clean. This is a store-bought one, so I know it's clean. And... You can break it apart. You can actually break your feather apart and this creates a very special type of veining. And it is a type of technique. You dip the paint in there and you can pull. It's very essential to show you the colors that I'm going to be using to demonstrate these marbles today. You're going to need a titanium white number 901, a black number 999. This is a pearl red number 990. This is a Chinese red number 919. A fresh tint number 612. A little bit hard to find. However, you can mix this up very easily. Naples yellow number 608 and a gold ochre. Those are the essential colors that I'll be using today to create four different types of marbles. Today's first marble is called Crema Marfil and this is a light golden color and today's lineup of choice of 
paint today is a 905 yellow ochre and a Naples yellow number 608. And of course, one of the essential colors today is a titanium white 901. So let's start and create crema marfil. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some of my white down, a very large amount. And I'm going to mix in a dop, just a very tiny dop of my, yeah, yeah, makes a little sound, my yellow ochre. And we're going to mix and smooth this out, okay? We're going to mix and smooth this color out. That's what we want. Notice what I'm doing. There is complete randomness uh, and mixture of whites and darks in there. We can actually add a little bit more golden ochre here in a moment, but And that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more white down here. Let's see, I'm getting that white out there. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm going to use in an awl here to hold this paper down. And we are good. Now with our Chinese brush, I'm going to smooth this surface down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now once we get that going, we're going to start the marbling on this. So the Crema Marfil has got very, very intense marbling through here. So let me demonstrate. We need to add two more elements to this. We're going to be bringing back our dark yellow ochre number 905 and we're also going to be adding our Naples yellow number 608. And we're going to show you today how to create using a very expensive brush. We're going to be dipping that brush into our water and we're going to be bringing this brush to life for the first time. This is the first use for one of these sable brushes. And I'm going to be watering it up and then going into rolling it into loading up the color on that brush. Watch the technique of my hand. Do you see how I'm using my pinky to create uh, a type of veining here. Watch this. I'm rolling the brush using the pinky. Okay. It's a nice veining here. Maybe this way too. Very softly, you want to create illusion. Pulling out. There is natural patterns within the, the veining and you look to see how they flow. Okay, now let's go into our Naples and we're gonna go right alongside that original
veining and we're going to add some sub veining here in the lighter color. This came out already beautiful. I love this already. Very, very nicely done. Our next marble today is called Calicata. And Calicata is using titanium white number 901, and we're going to be using a black number 999. These are just two essential colors that we need to create our faux finishing today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash this down with our white. Go right into here. Apply a large amount of our acrylic white right directly onto our paper. Smooth that right out. Don't be afraid. Get that nice and meshed all over the place. Notice that when I'm applying this, I'm going all over. I'm not doing nice clean strokes. That is a part of the, the faux illusion because it creates texture that is perceptible but invisible to the eye. And that is a big part of what faux finishing is all about. And if you don't know what the word faux means, it means um, to be fake or to fool the eye. And there's also another French term called trompe de l'oeil which means essentially that, to, to fool the eye. So we are creating now the background for Calacata. I have my black number 999 over here in the paper. I'm using my absolute dirty brush going into my water and I'm going to create a very, very light gray slurry on my paper. Using the same brush, I'm going to make a chisel with the brush. See how I just put the bristles together? Okay. And we are just going to go right in here. And we are going to create a form called Calacata. It looks too light bring it in here calicata is beautiful because it, it is it's soft I really love the way it, it shapes and forms but you've got to create that kind of a chisel with the brush to create the angles always go in the same direction with this okay we can soften this out a little bit later And Calicata does have veining in it, but we want to get the essential back part done first. Kind of just looks like, kind of like soft, what do you want to call them? Like little lightning bolts. Very, very soft. Create that chisel, create that chisel. Bring that color in there. Let's not, we need some more there. Oh, okay. Put some up there. Wow, okay, great. Now let's use our fan brush here. I'm sorry, the Chinese brush. I'm going to soften that down. Pulling that out. Okay, and let's put the next layer on. Going right back into our paint again, going a little bit darker this time, creating a chisel again with our brush. Let's water that down there. We're just slightly darker than what we already have. We're going to be creating the next layer on top of this one. Using the same, same style that I had 
done. Okay, let's go and use our veining brush, wet it, soften it, and let's start adding the veins. Calicata has a lot of veining in it, and it's very popular, say, like in church motifs. When I was in Italy, I saw a lot of this marble being used in architecture. You can see it uh, in places like the Vatican. Okay, and we are not done yet. We're going to go one more step. And early in the video, spray bottle. Water it down. Going in the same direction. Going right back in with our water and our black. This is the heaviest coating of all, and this will be our final one. We're going to create the webbing following the same similar patterns as we did before. And this will be the final coat. Go a little bit darker there. Ooh, nice. Making a chisel, making a chisel. Making sure you get all that information from below to pop out. Leaving areas that are white are essential. I had a client who asked me to do this on a bureau and did it come out nice but amazingly she wanted it in blue <laughs> yes I know blue and white it was beautiful create the chisel Sure, all your lines going in the same direction. Get a little bit darker over here. There. This is a beautiful form of calicat. I'm going in with my soft watercolor brush. 
right back in to our mixture that we had created. I'm going to water this down a little bit. Yes, looks good. We want to break up the bristles a bit so you have them here, a broken tail. back up. Our next faux finishing marble, we're going to go Negro Marquina. So this is mostly a very intense black marble and just a touch of white. It is reverse of basically what we had. And there's irregular streaks that go throughout this surface. So let's apply our black paint on there first. And we got our black paint on there and we are going to spread this black paint over Our test paper here. That's why we put paper down. That's what it's all about. Putting down scrap paper. Just painting the walls. Black color. And I've got that layered on there. Nice and thick too. Once you got your wall painted up nice and black, now let's do the reverse of our other paint. So we are going to be going into our titanium white number nine. I'm using the same brush with the black paint on it. I'm not even going to clean it. I'm going to go into the water. Okay, I'm going to put that paint right on there, creating a chisel. And now let's put some of this beautiful, we're going to layer a perfect white on top of that, but we're going to create the chisel effect first. So let's start this. Now I'm moving the brush in various patterns over here to create, to create a, a very intense veining, which you can hardly see, but it's there, and I'm going to create some lines. Chisel. A medium sized brush full strength white top of water going to now follow the pattern that we had just created and get my all to hold this down and we're going to now apply the white intensity over it, mimicking what we had already done and achieved
Okay, now using our intense sable, going in and creating some beautiful veining. It's just in with a soft fan brush. Pulling and dragging some of that color. Pulling and dragging. Pulling and dragging. Like that nice and solid, nice solid area. Pulling and dragging. Oh, beautiful. Negro Marquina. Our first layer we need to put down is a little tiny bit of white. And our primary source of color is going to be a mixture of Chinese red, top of Chinese red, and I'm going to mix in some Naples yellow onto this. Just adapt. Now these three colors create that basis color for what we're looking for. Okay, so let's start. I'm using my large brush now and blending those colors in together. Yeah, you always have something like that that happens. That happens always in finishing and faux finishing and paints and stuff. Look at this beautiful color we are creating. I know someone else is going to say that is the color too. Yes, it is. Get rough with it. Okay. Okay, let's clean up the surface a bit. Add this sometimes when you're doing painting or any type of finishing with paints and stuff like that. Small particles and stuff get in the way. Don't worry about that. That's part of painting. That's what it's all about. Okay, so now let's just smooth out that section. Beautifully done. Love this color, just the way it is. Okay, now let's put on our next layer. When it all starts getting exciting, I'm using right here the Chinese red and the pearl red together. I'm not even going to clean my brush. I'm going to mix these two colors together to create an off color right there. And then I'm going to be using my sea sponge, which I have over here, a little bowl of water. You've got to soak these sea sponges and you've got to get them nice and wet and they come to life. That's how you get those. A beautiful quality. And we'll sop this color up. Charging up is what they call this in the world. Okay, let's we'll start adding some darker areas in here. Charge that up a little bit more. and soft. There you go. Okay, let's mist that down. Today I'm using my large hard bristle brush and I'm going to charge and make a mess of this over here. Okay, and we're just going to do some flecking today. Watch this.
uh, using my wet sea sponge. Do a little bit of deduction. This is pretty. Very, very lightly. Don't take away too much of the information. Just allow it to blend in. We don't want any Jackson Pollock dots and dashes in there. We want to have a smooth finish. So we, there's another dot right there. So, okay. Let's start on the veining. And now with our small fan brush, I'm going right back into that dirty water again. Don't be afraid. Creating break up th there. See how I'm doing that with my my uh, fan brush here? I'm breaking up the bristles to create multiple veining on this one okay so we want to now we had created an all over pattern but what we want to do now is we want to create look at this very special veining and I love this marble I've seen it several times Not too much. Okay. Very, very gently and soft with it. Okay, let's soften that a bit with some water. And I'm also going to use my sable. Okay. Up some follow lines. I'm just loading the brush. I'm rolling and loading, ro rolling and loading. Okay, so just go in here and create some, call them phantom lines. They're just phantom. They're phantom lines that you can see, but you don't really think about them. They're just, they're just there. Oh, this is a pretty one. I'm going to connect that to that one. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm going to do a cross over with, with this one and go right through those. Now, I'm going to just put a little, a couple little phantom squiggles in there just, just for fun. I, this is so beautiful. Okay. The last element of this would be to add our white to this. So let's now put a nice white streak through our Rojo Alicante. To create that streak, I'm using a dry number four acrylic brush over here. We're just going to load this brush up with a nice glop of paint. We are going to follow a beautiful pattern here. Let's create a pattern here. That's Oh, my goodness. Let that fade right out there. Load that paint up. I'm going to start up here just for fun. Soften that up a bit. That's basically enough information right there for that marble, believe it or not. You wouldn't even have to do any more on that one. However, uh, for this, let me just do one slight, very light, light vein right there. Beautiful. Rojo Alicante. And I truly hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Historical Recreations and learned something about faux finishing marble. If you liked today's video, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, gothically yours, Professor M.